after months of concerns over Keystone College's financial status and with a merger with a Washington DC based nonprofit, hundreds of students started classes today as the fall semester gets underway. Newswatch 16 Jack Culkin spoke with students and staff about the future of the college. The library's here, right? All right, libraries down there. Dozens of students made their way to class for the first day of fall semester at Keystone College. Earlier this month, officials with the college announced Keystone would merge with the Washington Institute for Education and Research, a nonprofit organization after concerns over the school's financial status arose in the spring. We're really thrilled that we're, we're here and we continue to educate um, uh, the students that, uh, that see us as having value in, in, in the areas that we, uh, we serve. President of Keystone College, John Pullo, has overseen the college's merger and restructuring plan after its accreditation organization, the Middle States Commission on Higher Education, said there were concerns over Keystone's financial future. While they are still working to prove the institution is financially stable, Pullo says the threat of closure is not in the future. So thrilled to be able to come back here and do something to grow this college and continue its mission. Despite the challenges, Keystone College is welcoming 240 new students this semester, 189 freshmen and 51 transfer students. For returning students like senior Reese Carp, he wasn't concerned about the possibility of not finishing his degree at Keystone. The noise over the summer didn't really bother me at all. I knew I knew I was coming back here. I never really had any doubts that it was going to close down. And as a soon to be alum, Carp is excited to see the future of the institution. And they're going to continue to improve and make this a better place than it already is. So it's going to be living and breathing for years to come. Keystone's merge with the Washington Institute for Education and Research is expected to be completed by the spring. Jack Colkin, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.